Hello, welcome to the UNL Chemistry video series. In this video we are going to go over the proper techniques for using a balance. There are a wide variety of balances you will use in your scientific career at UNL, but they all function basically the same. Let's focus on the balance that is used most in the undergraduate labs. There are a few things you need to know before using your balance. The first thing you need to make sure is that your balance is properly leveled. Here is the leveling bubble on this balance. When you look at it, you will see a target, like this one, with a floating bubble inside. The balance should be leveled so that the bubble lands in the center of the target. Ask a TA to help you if your balance is not leveled. After leveling your balance, it is ready for use. Here is the on-off switch, and here is the zero button. It's also known as the tear button. To tear your balance means that you are going to set the displayed mass on the balance equal to zero. Now we are ready to weigh an object. Remember, you should be wearing gloves and your eye protection while working in the lab. Start by turning on your balance. Then, if your balance's mass does not read zero, tear the balance. Place your object onto the balance, and make sure that you are not leaning on the table. This can throw off the leveling of the balance and cause your readings to be off. Once a constant mass is displayed, record the mass of your object. Now let's take a look at a different technique called weighing or massing by difference. This technique will be used to obtain an accurate mass of a material that you are wanting to transfer. Start by turning on your balance and placing a transfer container onto the balance. Tear your container so the mass is set to zero. Now measure out the desired amount of transfer material you need. In this case, I'm looking for 700 milligrams of transfer material. Record your initial mass into your lab notebook. Notice that this balance measures to the nearest milligram or one thousandth of a gram. Transfer your material to another container. Now place your transfer container back onto the balance. Because not all the material will come out of the container, the mass is a bit more than just the container itself. Record the final mass. Now take your initial mass and subtract your final mass. This will give you the exact mass of material that was transferred. Our previous example used a balance that was accurate to the nearest 1,000, but you may come across balances in the lab that are not as precise. Here is an example of a balance that measures to the nearest 100th of a gram. Make sure to read your experiment before lab so you know how precise you need to be in your measurements. This will help you determine what balance you need to use. And last but not least, make sure you clean up after you've used the balance. Use a soft brush to clean off any transfer material left behind and dispose of it properly. Thank you for watching this video. These techniques, when done properly, will help you obtain the best results in lab. In the description below are links to three more instrument technique videos that will help you as well. These videos include techniques with graduated cylinders, pipettes, and burettes. Good luck.